What's up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I wanted to come to you with the speed drawing video and discuss the topic that I'm quite frequently asked about. And as you can tell by the title of today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to find your art style. So well, having your own personal art style is something that I believe is quite desired, especially among the artists that are at the beginning of their journey, that are just starting up and they are just trying to find their artistic personality let's say and well nowadays we have such an easy time to get access to the internet and we're able to look up any artist around the world and see what they are doing and see what kind of art styles they are having and at the beginning of your art journey it might be quite overwhelming because you see all those people that you desire to be like and you're basically a little bit confused because you don't know how to get there and I'm speaking from my own personal experience because I was there as well I was on that spot that I was overwhelmed with the amount of amazing artists, with their creativity and with how amazing they were in my eyes and I just wanted to be like them and I just wanted to be this individual with my own artistic identity and with my own art style. And I know that at the beginning it's really hard to realize some things because you want to be good right away. You don't want to wait, you don't want to put time and effort and work. You just want to be good and you just want to be like those artists that you look up to. But first things first, you really need to realize that finding your own art style takes time, effort and patience. And unfortunately there's no way around it. So to make it a little bit easier for you and tell you what worked for me and what kind of way I took to be able to find my own personal style, I want to share a couple of tips that helped me out and that I think are quite universal and will work for majority of you, I hope. So first thing you can do to figure out your own art style is to limit your art supply selection. And here again, speaking from my own experience, when I was starting out, I used to have only a simple graphite pencil and maybe a couple of random color pencils. And that was basically all. And that really helped me to focus only on drawing, on practicing and trying to figure out the things that I like instead of switching in between different mediums and just playing around some techniques and trying to figure out the proper way to use certain art supplies. And with that being said, I also don't mean that you should draw with, for example, a graphite pencil for whole your life. But once you get better in using certain technique, here we're talking about this graphite pencil for example, once your skills are starting to develop, you're gonna also start to feel like you are lacking something in your drawing, perhaps it's gonna be the color that you're gonna lack, or maybe you're gonna start to feel like you want to achieve different effect and you will know what kind of tool will help you to achieve that. I really hope that you guys understand what I'm saying because my main point in this first piece of advice is that you should rather focus on having this one medium in which you will be developing your style rather than switching in between different techniques at first. Second thing that really helped me out at the beginning when I was starting out is using references. And this point is very broad, so let me just elaborate on that. So in my case, when I was starting out and I was getting into drawing, I started from redrawing somebody else's work. And this might not be the best way to start out and I'm not advising you to go that route because I think that there are better steps to take at first than redrawing somebody else's work. But this method actually helped me out in the sense that I was able to redraw the things that I liked in somebody else's work and by constantly redrawing them I was able to take them from this person's style and give those things my own twist and then later on within some time and within some other things that I noticed and that I worked on myself I was able to kind of convey them in my art style 
So even though I'm not really advising this method as the perfect one when you're trying to find your art style, I think it's really good to look up other artists, those that inspire you, those that you admire, and those whose work you truly love, because only then you start to notice the elements in their work that are appealing to you. And after some time and within some practice, you'll be able to, let's say, take those elements and convey them in your own unique way in your art style. I really hope that makes sense. And along with that, another great thing to do is to use references. And this isn't the tip only for the artists that are starting out, it's the tip for pretty much everyone. References are really helpful and they can really take your art to another level. But of course, you need to know how to use them. If you're a beginner artist, you really don't need to stress out about using proper references or using references at all. I mean, you're pretty much allowed to do anything because you're practicing on those pictures and those reference pictures can be really helpful for you because you can practice some anatomy things on them, proportions and just basically how the human body works when you're interested in drawing people, for example. And when you continue on redrawing those references, there's for sure gonna be this point when you start to notice that you want to change something in them. For example, once you acquire some certain level of skills, you will start to, for example, notice that you prefer your faces to be a little bit rounder, or you're gonna start to draw the eyes a little bit bigger than they are in reality. Then maybe you will start to elongate the legs and the arms to make it a little bit more cartoony than realistic. And this is how basically you're gonna find your art style. And with this tip about reference pictures, it's also really important to remember to not base your knowledge only on references. You also should practice drawing from life. It might be still life, it might be some classes with a real human model. It really helps to develop your skills even more and this will give you this kind of freedom when you draw as opposed to the reference pictures because those reference pictures are just pictures. And when you draw a real life model then it's a little bit more difficult because they are moving, they are changing their position so you need to be more flexible with your skills and it really helps, believe me. So well, finding your own art style isn't that simple and it takes a lot of time. For me personally, it took me about five or even six years to develop my style to what it is now. And of course, at this moment, I'm really happy with my art style, but I think and I really hope it's gonna be evolving all the time. And I see that it actually does. So, so once you find your art style, you also should be able to think of it as something fluid, as something that will change. You will probably improve it, you will add some some little details to it, you will finesse it. And I think that's the whole point of having an art style. And while well, coming back to my case, like I said, it took me five or even six years to find my art style. And it was a really fun journey because I started out as this girl trying to be like my favorite artist that I was always looking up to. And then I was just basically drawing every day, trying to do all those things that I told you guys today. Just trying to see what kind of things I liked in other people's work, trying to figure out my own way and trying to figure out my personal artistic identity, let's say. And well, when I was starting out, there wasn't this much of social media influence in our lives, so maybe it was a little bit easier because I wasn't that stressed out about other people around me. I was just doing my thing and I was enjoying it really much. So I think it was a little bit easier for me, but I think that as long as you have the passion for drawing and the will to be better and to just create, then you'll be fine no matter what. But you also need to remember that everyone is unique and everyone is following their own path and maybe for some people it will be easier and quicker to find their art style and some people might not find it at all and they might be even fluent in a couple of styles at once. It really all depends on the person. 
So please don't stress yourselves out. You'll be good as long as you have passion for it and as long as you're happy to create and happy to spend time on drawing, then everything is gonna go good, I think. So well, I really hope that those tips and tricks that I shared with you guys today are gonna be helpful for you. And I know it's not like a ready to go recipe on how to find your art style, but I think that these are those important things that everyone should remember about when they are trying to find their art style. So well, that would be pretty much all from me today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful. Please let me know in the comments how did you like it and maybe you have some other advice for the people that are trying to figure out their art style, then please leave it in the comments so everyone can see that. And well, thank you guys so, so much for watching my today's video. I love you all and I can't wait to see you in my upcoming videos. Take care, bye. I'm just going with the gut, never had a doubt, felt like this is just a must Put me in perspective, I'm the deepest in the cut, everybody tuning in, but this is just for us now